hello everyone welcome to another video on tank inspection in this video we are going to take a look at how the tanks are measured and how the tanks measured with scanners especially and how the data is being uh, set up for inspection and calibration centrally the inspection is required to see how the tanks are having a settlement or any deformation is happening or it's like having a corrosion or having or being damaged due to some natural calamities so general uh, in general inspection is required on structural stability or and also on the uh, critical uh, uh, components like weld joints like the shell uh, structure things like that so we we have uh, we need to be performing inspection on regular basis to know the safety and precautions which we need to protect the tanks in this video uh, we are going to see uh, take a look at inspection reports for the vertical profile roundness flat spots or for and for the wells and also for the bottom settlements and we also we are going to segregate the tank into different uh, parts like the shell roof the dead wood and also the bottom in order to ascertain the volume of the tank so these are the two critical parts which we are going to see in tank inspection today with Trimble Railworks and let's get started so we just get into Railworks now and this is the Railworks software and you need to take a Railworks advanced module with tank calibration I have a last file which I am just going to bring it in Okay, here we go. I'll just save the project and just say like, yeah, just save it. And uh, first thing first, we need to segregate or classify this into roof, shell, that would everything. So that process is called tank setup. I'm going to tank setup now. So ours is a vertical cylinder and we are scanned from inside. How do you know? Just press on this button. So you will get to see the tank station here and it will show you whether it's the tank station view is from inside or outside. So after that, uh, just uh, you know the bottom is like uh, plain flat bottom, you have different bottoms like cone up and cone down. So I just say classify. Once the classification is done, just hit create and then close now there is a new one more additional uh, object here that's called tank if you open tank uh, okay so just close this project now and just open tank you will see the bottom and then you will see the dead wood that's like the pipes and everything removed automatically uh, then you see the remaining that's like the dust or noise whatever from the scans you get and then you see the roof and then you see the shell this is what uh, is called as uh, classification or it's like called as setting up of tank and uh, it's fully automatic and uh, it is done like you see it's done in no time uh, second part of this exercise is to go for a vertical tank inspection okay so we just hit vertical tank inspection now uh, once this pops up we are just going to have a constrained view if you just click this it only it's, it gives only a vertical view it does not rotate in other axis it just rotates in x y as it the z say straight it's easy for you to pick the uh, stations from this view so define elevation i'm going to go just define from the bottom so this part okay and then i'm going to define initial stations uh, initial station is always near to the 
entrance of the tag so I'm just going to define it here uh, this part you can see the cutout here so it's like defined here and how many number of stations you are going to have so I'm going to have stations every 2 meters so it creates 16 stations okay and then I have to add the weld joints and also the bottom so once I go into if I have to add bells just go to shell I say add wells and then I pick up the wells here look what you see here is the wells so I just keep the wells keep adding the wells ok once it is done just give right click and you cancel picking and uh, you can say like regular intervals at uh, 2 meters above the weld is 0.3 that is the inspection corridor like 0.3 and below the weld is 0.3 enter and just say apply you can see here above the weld this is the weld joint we have created above the weld and below the weld that is what is the corridor which we are going to inspect System apply. Once it is done, you can also define your bottom. So once you go into the bottom, you can define the outer zone width, and uh, this is the outer zone width, and uh, then you can set your tolerances, like how much should be the tolerance above the bar plane above the bottom or below the bottom what could be the tolerance I generally it's like 8 and you can even add more inspection stations from here and just you can even delete some inspection stations from here these are the inspection uh, stations which is coming from the uh, stations we set above I uh, just give apply once it is done just say create report it will give you a report and just store the report centrally I give a date and just store it on that particular date so these are some parameters which you generally get from the uh, clients regarding the tolerances and also regarding the material which is on the tank uh, the inks modulus and the yield strength all this you just get it depending on the tank build and depending upon the tank uh, material what is uh, what material what is used in the tank so the customer will be able to provide this but right now we are considering it as seal, uh, steel and just putting in these values and saying create So this is the report what we generally create or uh, when we get uh, it gives first it gives you the parameters uh, on the tolerances and what are the assumptions you are making for the uh, performing the calibration and then it gives you the verticality reports here. Uh, sometimes you get some weird reports maybe weird graphs like this because there would be some noise and make sure that you are cleaning the tank very well before and removing all the noise before you go in for the reports so this is for the verticality and then you go for the roundness and then uh, you go in for the oh uh, yeah you may get some failed reports because you may have some noise like that's good that's what's going out there so you then you have the bottom settlement report the bottom grids uh, the bottom station the grid values and also the uh, elevations at different uh, levels for the bottom so it's a pretty good graph which you get much improved than the previous versions in real works 
and uh, this is critical to uh, this the, the report before you generate the report you need to understand the uh, properties of the tank so that you feed in the right properties and fade out, get out the right results. The next part of the tank calibration procedure is to ascertain the volume of the tank. So just click on the point cloud and go into vertical tank calibration. First you need to define the important part in this, the bottom and the top always the bottom is taken from the dipping plate what is the dipping plate in all the tanks you will have a object that's called dipping plate so dipping plate is generally this kind of object you, this is the dipping plate and your bottom al always has to be on the dipping plate So it hits on the dipping plate and your top always has to be on the top here. So I just press go pick up the top here. After that you need to define your uh, intervals at how many uh, what intervals you need to have your strappings and what is the resolution and what is the cell thickness of the tank. So once you are done you can just go hit preview then it creates the bottom part and also the tank contours for the for estimating the volume this is the first once you are done it first export the strapping values as a as a uh, you know a text file and then say create it is done then we go into the estimation of the volumes now so for that into the locate table here so the locate table just open the excel sheet what's available on the locate table so from here you need to import the strapping files we just stored here so go open file and find your file this is the strapping which I stored and uh, position in meters area in square meter and volume just set to gallons and temperature generally it's again given from the customer in our case we can just put 100 degree Fahrenheit say so just say ok so it creates the volume table for the tank at different intervals at which we have created the strappings let's go into the next object this one is for the extra expansion and contraction of the steel tank uh, 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 based on the th parameters what we are going to give the average plate thickness is like in meters it's like 0.2 this also you will get it from the uh, lines and also the gra liquid gravity what the liquid is getting stored in inside everything will be given from the tile uh, from the client and if the client if the tank is insulated or non insulated that also you need to be getting it from the client so just hit once you enter these values just hit ok it gives you the values uh, here then for the compensation values and then just go into the next this is the capacity table just give ok it gives you the capacity of the word uh, tanks at different intervals again you can save this I can store it here as a copy or just if you are giving having multiple tanks you can give the tank ID and give it a save so it once it will be saved and this is your capacity table compensation table and volume calculation generally these two are the inspection uh, reports what you generate from any uh, tank calibration procedures and if you are having any other software in which you need to party software which you need to do a calibration you can export the tank 
parameters from here just go home export export selection and you can export this as a dxf file you can export this as a dxf file and you can use it in any uh, uh, CAD packages and uh, any other uh, uh, tank calibration packages which you want to use it then you can use it and uh, do the calibration in some other package also